Hi everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome to Vox Yoga. Today's practice is an evening stretch and relax. So this would be great to do after a long busy day just to relieve any excess tension, come back to the breath and find a sense of calm as well. So make sure you've got a mat or a comfortable space you can work in. There'll be no standing postures today, so we'll be quite low to the ground. So maybe you want to have a blanket to hand as well. So we'll start seated, cross-legged or kneeling. You could sit on a blanket or a block, whatever feels the most comfortable to you. Bring the hands to the knees or into the lap. And if you're comfortable shutting the eyes, then do so. Use the breath to keep the spine long. Feel grounded through the sit bones and lifted through the crown of the head. Focus on the breath, breathing in and out through the nose. Just feel the breath flowing in and out of the body. Interlace the hands behind the back, really gently drawing the shoulder blades together, broadening through the chest, then drop the chin to the chest, breathe space into the back of the neck and the upper back and shoulders. And then gently roll the chin over to the left shoulder and over to the right. And then just drawing half semicircles, well, semicircles, <laughs> from one shoulder to the other. And bring it back to center. Release the hands and bring them behind the head. So you can interlace the hands here just to very gently support the back of the head. Elbows reaching out to either side. Again, feeling openness across the chest. You can just use the thumbs to support the back of the neck here. And we'll move through some seated cat cows. So ground through the sit bones once more. Inhale, arch the back, open the chest, look up if it feels good. Exhale, rounding the back, elbows start to come together, dropping the chin to the chest. Inhale to open, arch, lift the chest. Exhale, round the back, elbows drawing together. Follow your breath pattern, Spines just moving like a wave. Just remember that the hands are only there to support the head. They're not applying any pressure. Final one. Then bring it back to center, release the arms and gently roll the shoulders. Then coming onto hands and knees, tabletop. So keeping shoulders over wrists, hips over the knees, 
Feel strong through the palms, pressing through the left shin, top of the left foot. Then bend, uh, lift the right leg up and bend the right knee. So flex the foot so you're pushing the right foot towards the ceiling. Breathe here for a moment. And then bring the right foot between the hands. Low lunge. Lift the torso. Bring the hands onto the thigh. Just so you can set the right knee up over the ankle. And we're not sinking into this posture. We're just finding a gentle opening in the left hip flexor. Good, then inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, breathe the shoulders down away from the ears. Breathe here. Big inhale, reach through the fingertips. Exhale, release, hands frame the right foot. Now just gently walk the right foot to the outside of the right hand for a low lizard pose. And now you can just shift the left knee back a little bit. So finding a bit more opening in the hips here. Breathe here and you've got the option to come onto the forearms if you'd like a little bit more. But remember that we're just cooling down at this point. and coming back to tabletop. So bring that left knee in slightly and then bring the right foot back to meet the left. Other side, pressing through the palms and the top of the right foot and the right shin, lifting the left leg up behind you, bend the left knee, flex the foot, really pressing the foot up to the ceiling. and then bring the left foot in between the hands. Lift the torso, bring the hands onto the left thigh. Just think about your alignment, the setup here, being really mindful about the body. And then inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, shoulders down away from the ears, breathe here. Inhale, reach through the fingertips. Exhale, release the hands to frame the front foot. And just move the left foot to the outside of the left hand and shift the right foot, right knee back a little bit. Lizard pose. and we'll come back to tabletop. Great, set the hips over the knees once more, then we'll walk the hands forwards for puppy dog pose. So just walk them as far forward as feels within your range of motion and let the heart melt down, bringing the forehead to the mat. Breathe here. Walk the hands back to underneath the shoulders and then press yourself back up to tabletop. Come to sit on the heels, then swing the legs round and we'll make our way onto our backs. So 
feet flat on the floor, knees bent here, arms by your sides. We'll come to a gentle bridge. Don't feel like your heels have to be really close towards your glutes, just wherever feels comfortable. Press through the palms, press through the feet and slowly lift the spine. Lifting the hips, shoulder blades stay on the mat. And we'll breathe here. And slowly release each vertebrae one by one coming down to the mat. Great, then hug the right knee towards the chest, extend the left leg out long. Come into a twist, bring the right knee over to the left side. Left knee doesn't have to touch, but you might want to shift onto your left hip. Make sure you keep the right shoulder blade on the mat. Breathe into the twist. bring it back to center. Hug both knees in. Then keep hold of the right shin, extend, oh sorry, left shin, extend the right leg out long. Bring the left knee over to the right side, shifting onto the right hip. And breathe into the twist once more. Bring it back to center. Hug both knees one more time. You can just rock gently from side to side. Good. Then bring the feet back to the mat and let the knees drop open so the soles of the feet come together. Reclined, bound angle or butterfly. And this can be quite wide, so the feet can be quite far away from you. And the arms can come overhead if that feels good for you. Again, remembering it's not a full on flexibility stretch. We're just surrendering to the earth. And release, breathe here. Be here for a few minutes to finish our practice. So you've got the option to pop some blocks under the thighs or under the knees, if that works for you. Focus on your inhale and your exhale. to stay here or you can extend the legs for Shavasana and bring the arms next to you.
start to deepen the breath. Bring a little bit of movement into the fingers and the toes. And slowly and mindfully bend the knees and roll onto one side. Take a breath here and then slowly press yourself back up to seated. Take your time. When you get there, find a comfortable seated position and please shut the eyes if you're comfortable doing so. Bring the hands to prayer at the heart. And drop the chin to the chest. And thank yourself for taking the time to do this evening practice. Breathe the eyes open. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. I hope you feel released and relaxed. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to hit subscribe for much more content. I hope to practice again with you soon.